Hi, I'm Nikki Neese with Residential Child Care Licensing. Are you Shelly Adetona? I am. Hi, this is my coworker Jackie Jones. Hi, Jackie. We're here to do an inspection of your home regarding an intake receipt by our office. Okay. This is my state ID, and here's a copy of my business card for your records. Thank you. May we enter your home to conduct the inspection? Sure. Don't mind these boxes. I ordered a few things online. I just haven't had a chance to put them away yet. Come on in. Do you mind closing that door? Thank you. This is Adetona. I understand you're currently a single foster parent with Over the Rainbow Child Placing Agency. Is that correct? That is correct. Our office received an intake regarding allegations of inappropriate supervision. So we'll need to conduct a walkthrough of your home to assess for compliance with minimum standards of supervision and general health and safety. We may take photos or videos during this time. Do you currently have children in your care? I do, I have one, Mary, and she's currently at the Boys and Girls Club. She's not here right now. We spoke to her there earlier today. Do you mind accompanying us on the walkthrough? Um, no, not at all. Come on, I'll take you into our storage area first. Okay. Upon arriving at a foster home or any operation, it's important to put on your professional face. Whatever has happened to you before you arrived at the operation should be left behind. You'll notice that the inspector introduced herself appropriately and with a smile. She then introduced her coworker and showed her state badge, which identifies her. Being polite and appropriate during introductions builds rapport, which helps create a foundation for a positive working relationship. So this is just a random room I use for items that I don't use very often. This room appears appropriate. I do recommend locking the door if you don't want this room in use. Okay, I can do that. I'll take you into the restroom area. Okay. So this is Mary's restroom. This is nice. It's clean. Yes, yeah, she's a very clean child. Uh, her bedroom is right around the corner. So this is a room I have set up for Mary. This looks appropriate, but I don't see many personal belongings in here for Mary. Yes, Mary just recently got placed with me and she's a very neat and tidy child. Uh, I'll be working on getting her some more items to make her room a little more special just for her. That would be nice. Would you like to see the bedroom area? The yes. living room area? Sure. Okay. Is that paint? Yes, I'm doing a little touch-up paint around the house. Don't worry about that. Hi, I'm Nikki Neves with Residential Child Care Licensing. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, that's, that's just my boyfriend. He doesn't live here. Don't worry about him. I need to verify your name and address. Do you mind if I see your ID? Sure. Oh, so you do live here. Your address matches the home address. At some point during your inspections, providers, children in care, or others you come into contact with may have a negative attitude with you. It's important to remain calm and polite, just as the inspector did in this situation. The inspector noted that the man on the couch did not have a background check, so she approached him and requested his identification. This is important to do as there's always the possibility that people will be less than truthful with you. The inspector took down the man's information from his identification and noted that the address listed on the ID was the foster home. The inspector confronted the man about this and received no response. The inspector will now be on the lookout throughout the inspection for additional evidence that the man on the couch does in fact live in the foster home. This will be addressed with the provider prior to the inspector leaving the operation. Also keep in mind that the inspector is taking notes. It's very difficult to rely on your memory to retain all deficiencies, concerns, or annotations during the walkthrough. A lot can happen during the inspection and it's important to take notes on paper or your tablet throughout the inspection so that these items can be addressed during the exit interview. Your tablet is equipped with OneNote or Microsoft Word to assist you with taking notes. I can show you my kitchen area if you'd like to see that. Okay. So who in the home smokes? Oh, well, those aren't mine. Those 
those belong to him. Can you put those away, please? Sure. They need to be inaccessible to children. Okay, keep that in mind. So this knife and alcohol needs to be stored out of reach of children too. It's really important to keep sharp objects and alcohol, dangerous items out of the reach of children. That's understandable. Those away, please. I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna take a look in your refrigerator. Sure, help yourself. This looks great. Lots of nutritious food in here. Yes, I keep plenty of nutritious snacks for Marion. Notice I keep all of my food properly stored That's and good. covered. That's good. So I noticed you have some pets in the home. Um, yes, they're really good with Mary. Um, do, really you good pets. do you have their vaccination records? Um, I believe so. Oh yes, here they are. Okay, thank you. Thank you. No problem. My pantry is over there if you'd like to look in okay. there. Oh, this is organized, lots of food in here. Food and hazards in the kitchen were explored by this inspector. It's important that not only the operation have enough and appropriate food, but also that the food is stored properly. Allow the provider to correct deficiencies or hazards so that you can mark the deficiency as compliance met. The inspector also took photographs using her tablet to potentially use during an administrative review. Thanks. So can we look outside now? Do you have to go outside? I do have to go outside. Okay. Here's my backyard. Oh, how nice. Yeah, it's a little small. I try to spend time with Mary at the park so we don't have to listen to the traffic back here. Yeah, you can hear the traffic. It's a really beautiful day. A little windy. Yeah, I'm going to yes. take a look around the sides. Sure, be careful not to step in. Um, my dog Quincy may have made a mess over there. A full perimeter search of the outdoor area should be conducted and all hazards must be addressed. Walk around to the side of the house where the backyard continues and evaluate all areas. This is important as children are curious and can get into all areas of a yard. Checking the fence and gate as well on the grounds is important to ensure the safety of children in the operation's outdoor area. I wanna check and make sure this gate is secure. Okay. Yep, it's locked. Okay, well I can take you in my master bedroom. Great. Look, Miss Niece, when you got here today, I didn't know you were gonna go through all of my things. I didn't even know you were coming today. I'm required by policy um, to inspect the entire home and that includes your master bedroom. Um, go ahead. This is Anatona, is that a loaded gun? No, it's not loaded. I mean, I just got it. Does your agency know that you have a gun in the home? No, I just purchased it. I haven't even had a chance to buy any bullets yet. I'm going to need you to notify your agency that you have a gun in the home before I leave today. And I'm also going to require that you lock it in a separate, separate lock storage. Okay, I can do that. I'm gonna take a look in the bathroom in the closet. Sure. Might as well. So I see an extra toothbrush and a men's razor here. This is Adetona. Does Mr. Montez live here? Well, he doesn't live live here. He may stay over every now and then, but he doesn't live here. Okay. I mean, I tried to be honest with you as much as I can. Mrs. Adetone, in reviewing your home records, I don't see Mr. Montez listed as a frequent visitor. I'm gonna need you to notify your agency so they can conduct the required background check on him. Well, like I told you when you first got here, he doesn't live here. He just may stay every now and then. He'll still be required to have a background check as a frequent visitor. 
You know, this is beginning to be too much. I, I think it's best for you and Miss Jackie just to leave. I understand your frustration. I know it must be difficult to have people coming into your personal space, but we do need to finish inspecting the rest of your home. If you need a minute, we'll step away and give you some time. No, it's it's okay. I mean, you're just doing your job. I, I can I can show you to the rest of my house. It's only the garage area. That's Thank left. you. That would be great. There were some extreme hazards in this section of the home. A gun was lying on the bed. You must make sure that the gun and any ammunition is secured before you continue the inspection. It's important that you verify that hazards of this magnitude are neutralized immediately. The inspector noted that there were men's clothing in the master bedroom closet and the extra toothbrush in the master restroom. This made the provider upset, but it was important to suggest to the provider that it was not likely that her boyfriend lived outside of the home. Confront conflicting information with the provider. When the provider became upset, the inspector did a wonderful job of de-escalating the situation. Use calming words and empathy to bring any situation under control, and this will gain the provider's cooperation in completing the inspection. I'm glad to see you keep the lint cleaned out. That can pose a hazard. And it's great to see your soap stored up out of reach. Oh, good, thanks. Let's take a look in the garage. Sure. Okay. So your chemicals are up out of reach of children too, but the gas can is on the ground and that's a fire hazard. Yeah, Daniel was doing some yard work for me this week. He, he must have left it out. Can you please store it out of reach of children? Sure. Is there anything else you need me to pick up? Oh, that up? looks good. So I'm done with the inspection. Is there somewhere we can go and discuss what's happened here today? Sure, we can go back to the living room if you like. Okay. This is Adetona. First, I want to thank you for allowing us to come into your home today and conduct the inspection. I also want to commend you on taking such great care of Mary. We had a chance to talk to her earlier today and she had really nice things to say about living here. Oh, thank you. So after conducting the interviews, it does appear that Mr. Montez resides here. Well, I mean, he, he helps me walk my dog Quincy and um, he may babysit Mary every blue moon. Usually I'm the one that's with her. Other than that, I'm always with her. Okay. Well, I'm gonna cite today for not having the required background check on Mr. Montez. Okay. And there'll also be a citation for the alcohol, the knife, the gun, the gasoline being accessible to children. But I'll notify your, the, your agency that those were corrected at inspection. Okay. I'd also like to note that the paint needs to be put away. Okay, I can do that. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Um, so I'm also going to request a safety plan regarding Mr. Montez not be present until the required background checks completed on him. Well, I mean, I really don't want him to have to leave, so I will be sure to get that information to my agency today. Great. So I'll also be discussing the citations with the administrator of Over the Rainbow Child Placing Agency, and they can request an administrative review on your behalf if you or they disagree with the citations. I did take photos of what I saw today. Okay. Do you have any questions or concerns? No, not at all. Okay, well here's my, um, I wanna make sure you have my phone number and this is the inspection form. Okay. If you could sign here. The inspector was appropriate and polite throughout the entirety of the inspection, although she knew she was experiencing some deception from the provider and her boyfriend. She maintained good rapport and addressed every hazard observed throughout the home and ensure that all hazards were corrected prior to leaving. This will ensure safety will be maintained in the home when the child arrives. All parts of the home, including the outdoor area and the garage were inspected. Many times inspectors fail to observe the areas they believe children are not exposed to. However, we need to keep in mind that children could potentially enter any area in or around an operation and a thorough inspection is required. Because there was a person presumably living in the home with no background check, the inspector requested a safety plan involving the provider's boyfriend not being present pending the background check. 
Remember that safety plans are not just for abuse neglect investigations. They could be used during non-abuse neglect investigations and monitoring inspections. The provider's professional behavior assisted her in gaining compliance and cooperation with the provider and left the provider with a positive message. By following the tips and examples you viewed in this video, you will succeed in conducting appropriate inspections and you will increase the safety of children in out-of-home care.